I, I'm glad that we're doing this this week. <clears throat> if we had done this um, a week ago, I probably couldn't have couldn't have been a part of it just because there was so much heartbreak. Um, I think the world saw something that's been happening uh, in our country for centuries. Um, it saw a black man lynched by a white man. Uh, that's what that was, that, that video. And it broke us. Uh, it broke the black community to watch something like that happen. One minute, two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes. He starts calling out for his mother. His mother's been dead for years. Six minutes, urinating on himself, begging for his life. 15 times, I can't breathe. The community screaming in horror. Eight minutes and 46 seconds. These videos have been a part of American life now for almost seven, eight years. It was always, oh, well, it was a quick decision. The cops got to defend himself. He was talking back. He was fighting back. What do you want? What, what do you expect? You, know, you can't second guess the police. But this one, this one, film from beginning to end, stunned the world. And for all of the times that we have been lynched, we've never had a situation where a billion people could see it all at the same time on their smartphones. And it, it shoved a piece of glass into the eyeball of everybody on the planet and it hurt, it hurt them. Uh, people couldn't sleep having seen it. They couldn't rest. And if we had tried to have this conversation a week ago, uh, we probably couldn't have had it. But a miracle is taking place. A miracle is taking place. A continent of new common ground has emerged from beneath the waves where there are 20, 30, 40 million white Americans saying racism is real, more real than I thought. There's something wrong with our justice system. It's more broken than I knew. What can I do about it? As an African-American man, it's a miracle. It's all I've wanted. It's just an acknowledgement that what is happening is happening and that we need to do something about it. And now we're in the middle of something we don't know what it is. We don't even have a name for it. You know, the civil rights movement wasn't called the civil rights movement at the beginning. At first it was just people trying to, to fix a problem and later on they called it the civil rights movement. We don't know what this is. Uh, NASCAR says they're not gonna let Confederate flags fly anymore. The NFL is apologizing for not supporting Colin Kaepernick's peaceful protests years ago when he was trying to call attention to this. You have people, corporations across the world saying Black Lives Matter. What is this? We don't even know what, we don't know what to call this. 1964, uh, they called it uh, Freedom Summer when those students went south to register voters. Some were killed, some were beaten, but they changed history. But they didn't call it Freedom Summer then. They called it, it was two years later when a book came out called Freedom Summer. They didn't know they were in Freedom Summer. So we're in some awakening, some great awakening, where much more is possible than we had dared to hope for. Somebody killed the black man and everybody cares. It's a miracle. It's never happened. It's never happened. Somebody killed a black man and everybody cares. I wish my parents were here to see this. <laughs> 